morning guys i hope you all fine uh, last video in the end of the video i have said the next video will be how to assemble a home theater in one hour so uh, you may think is it possible it is possible with our basun products so what are the products we have pre amplifier power amplifier and power supply sections and as well as transformers and cabinet so with this i will explain you how to assemble a home theater but now the process is going on so in between i plan to put a next video so next video will be as a two parts one is the first main part is the cheapest remote kit ever you have so have you guys are thinking a remote kit with the price of less than 1000 rupees uh, i'm not sure about the price and you can get the price with us directly to a whatsapp phone call whatever it is and uh, through our website so definitely it is less than 1000 rupees but there is no compromise on the quality on the output of the product so whatever the product we are having what i mean uh, in remote kits the same output quality you will get it i am sure about that i'll promise you so that there won't be any compromise on the quality and the output sound but you will get it in 1000 below 1000 rupees so this is the first part and second part all the guys are come came across with the mosfets i mean fets transistors so without transistors uh, our audio amplifier is nothing even in class d or class a class ab whatever you have your amplifiers you are using it has integrated or uh, uh, supported by the fets field effect transistors or mosfets so field effect transistors is the old technology and uh, start in initially they have invented field effect transistors but mosfet is somewhat upgraded till now they are using mosfets in all the field even in class d they are using mosfet mosfets so what is there in the mosfets do you guys ever thinking about this and how it is works so i will explain you i will uh, just covering the basics i am not going to deep i will just cover the basics i will put another video of full video of mosfets don't worry about that and also you will get to know whether you are using mosfets or transistors if your amplifier if you have an amplifier you just read that uh, whatever what whatever the name of the amplifiers and you just google it and you will get a data sheet of this and with that data sheet they have clearly mentioned whether it is a transistor or mosfet so transistors will be very good mosfet is too good so there are lots of uh, advantages in the mosfets so i am explaining you i am covering the basics of the mosfets and how it how will it works so uh, uh, yeah, all things i will uh, covering also i will explain and i will uh, give you a demo of cheapest remote kit ever so these are the two topics we are going to discuss this video and please keep watch this video and keep keep supporting us and uh, subscribe us and share your thoughts and comments on this video so that we can able to in i mean uh, make it up in the next video okay so this is our cheapest remote kit you can think it's only a display board but when you flip it up you will get exactly what is inside so this board has microcontroller section supply section output 5.0 output section and the selector section which means uh, stereo to 5.1 converting section as well as three stereo input one usb input and one 5.1 input so everything is coming here so the difference is in this board it doesn't has any subwoofer output which means there won't be any subwoofer section you can add your own subwoofer most of the people we got feedback from the people they don't like our subwoofer it's not our fault the taste will be differ from person to person especially in subwoofer so for that only we are included this this section here subwoofer output ground and subwoofer input so you can take subwoofer output from this 
and you can use the subwoofer output to your own desired subwoofer board whatever the subwoofer board you want to include you can give the, this output to subwoofer input and from that subwoofer output you can take a subwoofer input so just take subwoofer output and give a subwoofer input that's it it also you can control this subwoofer section through remote because of this method so this is the method and we are I, I will explain you the demo how it works after that we will see the explanation of the MOSFET this one stereo input from the USB board and this one 3 stereo input and this one 5.0 output and this is power supply I'm, I just made a change in the subwoofer section so I already told you can use external subwoofer now already I am having a subwoofer output from here so I am just looping this subwoofer output to the as input but now you can uh, use an external subwoofer board and you can give this external subwoofer board output here now itself the subwoofer is working so this is the setup now we yeah. will check the video I mean audio output So now you can hear the audio. It is very nice, like our uh, previous remote kits uh, we have, what we are using before. So we don't change anything in the quality of the output, but we have implemented in one board, so that you can use it very easily, uh, very compactly. You don't need to use the uh, separate board for, uh, I mean, uh, selector sections. So everything is coming here. The only drawback is we, uh, this board doesn't have any encoders control. Uh, we will see that output of the uh, uh, response from the customers. And the next lot, we will try to include the uh, encoder control if it is necessary. So apart from this, this is what uh, audio checking. Uh, it is very nice. All the channels are working. If you have any doubts on this board regarding uh, output and input and, and other other uh, inquiries, you please you can contact us directly to us. Not an issue. And our next video, I will explain the MOSFETs. I already told you know the before uh, starting of the video. So we will see the working and uh, something about the MOSFETs. So this is typical market MOSFET board we are using. It's a mono board, 100 plus 100 watts, 200 watts output. We are using IRF 250N for the performance. So it, it is a MOSFET, purely a MOSFET, uh, international rectifier manufactured. So we are using this board more than uh, 10 years. So the output will be very good, we satisfied about this board. But I don't know how many people are using exact MOSFET board. In market, lots of boards are available in the name of MOSFETs. But if you have any doubts on this board, on those boards, you have, whatever you, you have bought it, you can directly use the MOSFET, I mean a transistor name, and you can get the data sheet from the internet, and you can check whether it is MOSFET or transistor. So both are same, but transistor is very old one, MOSFET is very new one, it is upgraded one, and it is far more better perform performance than transistors. So, generally, um, tra even a transistor or MOSFET, whatever it is, it has three legs. You know, we all knows, and one uh, body. And those three legs are source, gate, and drain. So, these are the very important part while uh, using a transistor or MOSFET. But especially in a MOSFET, so what it differs from transistors is that metal oxide coating. So they are using a metal oxide coating layer 
or into the gate section which means uh, i don't know how many people are aware about this most most of the mosfets mosfets and transistors are two different types one is npn and another one is pnp the positive negative current flow based on this they will uh, separate in npn and pnp so both are uh, working in very different way and whatever the voltage you are applying in the gate you have to apply a voltage from in the gate so that based on this there is a electromagnetic field generated and this generated electromagnetic field will change the width of the input signal and it gets wider as an output signal which means the input signal is coming in one thickness and after generating electromagnetic wave it wider the and that input signal which means that is the basic principle of amplifier so all the amplifiers are working in the same principle so whatever the signal you are giving it will getting wider and it will getting boosted and you will get a enhanced increased output so this is the basic of mosfet and the thing is they are using a coat of metal oxide in the gate section so that will produce a higher bandwidth which means wider the signal very highly so that will produce enormous sound and you will get high amplification so that is the difference between the mosfet and transistor and it's just a basics uh, i will uh, put a video on this uh, mosfet versus uh, fet field effect transistor versus and metal oxide field effect transistors and normally you can you can uh, i mean you can uh, separate mosfet in two types not in not even types based on the working you can separate two different methods one is depletion mode another one is enhancement mode so if deplet in depletion mode if you are applying no voltage you will get maximum output which means wider output and whenever you apply the voltage when you keep on increasing the voltage at at threshold level to the threshold level that output how will be decreased so this is depletion mode in enhancement mode if there is no voltage applied in the gate there won't be any output if you are applying a voltage and keep on increasing the voltage the output width and the it getting wider which means output width is getting increased so these two different modes we are normally using in this we are using in this board we are using irf 250 n transistor which is npn transistor and the output will be very good we we are also checked if you want you can purchase from our website or you can contact us directly in this next video we will try to put a video on assembler home theater in 1 hour so it is possible i will give, i will guide you each and every steps i will guide you you can do it and you can assemble a home theater in your home okay so until then take care of yourself and we will see in our next video hopefully we will put a next video in a couple of week i mean in a in a week time with assembling a home theater in one hour thank you guys keep sub keep supporting us and subscribe us and share your feedback with us so that we can improve ourselves thank you